all right so welcome to the blog you all i'm allison alana and if you are new here hit the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in so i just ended the vlog i just am now restarting a new vlog that will go out tomorrow so um yeah i am about to go in public so i'm about to grab my food i'm gonna go in and cook hopefully i'm done at a good enough hour where i can uh come out for work if even for just like three hours every dime matters to me at this moment so uh yeah it's just a struggle trying to get through this vlog the vlog just all just starting and i'm already struggling to get through it with all the stuff going on around me anyway so i don't even know what i just said however we're going in the public we're going to do some shopping we're going to cook we're going to try to get out to work and yeah I'll see y'all once I get in the store. All right, I'm in the store. They playing music, so I'm not really going to do a lot of vlogging in here. But, um, yeah, we're in here. We're getting our stuff, and we'll be out as soon as we can be. So, y'all, tell me why. It is now 9.25. Publix been closed since... Publix been closed since... Uh, nine o'clock and they were just letting us shop like then when I come over there so nice and was like are you guys about done and I was like oh why and he was like I said are y'all about to close he said yeah nine o'clock I looked at my clock it was 9 15 I had no idea it had gotten that late I was literally just taking my time I haven't really been out on my own in a while where you know I didn't have to rush or anything because nobody was giving me a ride and all that I was just taking my time and enjoying. I love shopping at Publix. I always come here, come to Whole Foods, Harris Teeter, Trader Joe's. Like, those my stores, you know. And, um, like, where I'm originally from, you go to, like, Giant, uh, Safeway. But they don't have them kind of stores down here. But back home, we do have Whole Foods. We do have all the stuff they got down here except for Publix. So, um... Yeah, I what you call it. You know, I was just enjoying myself. I did not know time was going by. But they are so nice. This is like, this gives me boutique vibes. Like when I come to Publix, I always feel like it's a boutique type of grocery store, you know? And it's just like always an experience when you come here. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. They got the nice section with all the fine wines and you know, it's, it's nice. So yeah, I'm about to put these, Put these on the front seat. You can walk around that way. My eggs on my front seat. And. Yeah. Yeah. Like cotton candy. Yeah. That is. Mom, can I have my cotton it. candy now? Mom, can I have my cotton candy? these fruit snacks Arizona green tea fruit snacks made with real fruit I just thought they looked interesting I never seen these before so um, I just said let me try these out um, okay they come in this a little bag like this with the Japanese blossoms on it it's like the can of green tea let me see how they are Nothing special. It's just giving fruit snacks. I don't even know if they taste like the green tea. Um. Oh crap! I forgot my keys. I can't put my keys in this couple. All right. So it's now nine thirty. I'm wondering, should I even go home and cook anything and just come out here and work? Yeah, I'm gonna just drop this food off. And we got enough snacks in the car. 
I, you know what I should have did? I should have bought a pizza. So when we come back in, I could just make a pizza. We got enough stuff in the car to keep us for. I might just go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop at Food Line. All these days gonna stop. Grab a pizza and grab us some little juice boxes so we can have them to drink in here with all our snacks that we got. Uh, I'll see y'all when I get working. All right, so we out here, y'all. It is about wow, 12:55 a.m. and um, my shift ends at 2 30 so I'm not far away from that um I just did an order for Taco Bell dropped that off it said that the hot spot was also um Taco Bell so I came back here I came back here I'm in the uh parking lot and I just got an order for sheets so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that one and head to that order now all right so here's the order for sheets and I'm about to go drop that off now let me see how this uh how this night gonna go it is 1 so I got about an hour and 15 minutes left out here Okay. All right, thank you. Hold that for me, please. All right, hey y'all. I am um, just finished picking up a Taco Bell order. I'm out here working. It's the wee hours of Monday morning, so it's like 12, it's officially 12.31 a.m. Monday morning. So we are out here doing some orders. I actually, got something I need to take care of before um, like 8.30 tomorrow morning. So I'm just trying to make that happen tonight. All right, so a lot of my orders is just like sheets, McDonald's, Taco Bell, cause like those be open, you know, sheets is 24 hour, McDonald's, some of them are 24 hour and then Taco Bell is they open really late. So I just picked up this order from Sheet and I'm about to go do that drop off now. All right, so I'm at McDonald's. It is officially 2.05 a.m. Um, it's a slow night. I came out here kind of late because I, I had some things that I had to get done and it's just really difficult to try to do every single thing. Still come out and work and I multitask by doing this job and doing YouTube at the same time. So um, I got a really booked out day tomorrow. Like I wrote out every single thing that I need to do. So forth is like the content that I want to create and I'm hoping I can get through it because it's a really long list. I'm really like pushing myself here and um, it's it's a lot so i'm hoping that i could find the energy to get through it after being out here all night i have like another hour and a half because my shift ends at 3 30 but it's really a slow night so i might not stay out here all the way till 3 30 a.m i'm pretty sure all the kids are asleep and um mm, it's just it's a lot like i'm not tripping i'm not tripping because I, I every time i feel myself wanting to put too much thought into something i just tell myself look how everything else works out you know just do the work and pray do the work and pray god always sees you through if you as long as you actively doing the work and you praying it's like stuff always seems to work itself out so I ain't gonna worry because it's like, you know, every day that goes by, things are piling up. And I just, I only had my car back for what? Four days. And I mean, I've I've accomplished a little something, but not, not really a lot. Four days is not really enough time to really catch up on every single thing for the past two months or seven weeks, rather. 
but I'm doing the best I can and I'm very happy with that. I'm I'm pleased with myself for not um dragging, you know. I, I'm I'm out here being effective and doing the best that I can. So I'm gonna just focus on that. I always try to tell myself, just focus on the good, just focus on the good. Don't worry about don't worry, don't do any worrying. Focus on the good stuff because when you start to worry, trip, complain, carry on, it just attracts more you know what I'm saying more of that stuff and I want to attract the good stuff so I'm just focusing on the good stuff so yeah that's that with that I am hoping some more orders come through um I would like to do at least four more before I go home I don't know what I'm gonna do come tomorrow come well I can't even say tomorrow because it's already tomorrow it's 2.05 and I need to take care of something before like 8 o'clock, really. So that's like six hours. I'm not staying on here for no six hours. I did that the other night. I worked till from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. And um, I started to get tired. And if I didn't have my kids with me, I probably would do it. I wish I had somebody that I could trust. Um to watch my kids. I don't let people watch my kids. I really don't. And um, I, I, I kind of wish that I had somebody that, that I could trust to keep them on during times like this when I need to work both day and night. So I don't know. I, maybe that's something that I will look into or ask God for or make some arrangements with somebody that I already know and trust could start staying down here with me or something because um, it would be nice to have another set of hands you know it, it would be a great help to have another set of hands down here to just make sure things is going well but in due time everything I want will be more than a thought it'll be in the physical as well all right so I got in around 3 a.m. or close to 3 a.m., right? And I put the kids to bed, and I just passed out on my couch. I'm I'm always out here on my couch. We just seem to be at one, okay? <laughs> and um, I'm just waking up, so excuse my face and all of that. But I got up, and my electric bill was actually supposed to be paid on Friday, and um, over the, it was like two hundred and fifty dollars. And over the weekend, I didn't make enough to um, to cover that. I had some other things I had to sort of, you know, get sorted out. And most of the money I'm making, I'm putting aside for my rent, you know. So I was like, dang. All right. So I hopped up this morning. My alarm was going off at eight o'clock. I don't even know why I set an eight o'clock alarm. I know if I set an alarm, it's, it'll more so be for like five or six a.m. So I'm still confused as to why I set an eight o'clock alarm, but it, it was going off. So I got up. I turned the air off because it had me sneezing and all that. And um, I was like, dang, I never paid the, um, the electric bill. Let me see what I could spare to at least just put something on there. Maybe they'll spare me for another extra day or two because today would be the day that they would cut it off. So um, I checked my card and I only had like $17. $17 that I could see. And um, I was like, all right. I just said a little prayer like, Lord, I know this is not even hardly nothing. But if this could buy me another day or two, then I'll go ahead and try to get the balance Um paid off i just didn't want to touch what I already had for the rent which is not even much because i only been back working for like four days but i just don't want to be spending that on other things right so um i paid the 17 dollars, and i literally said a prayer like lord help me to just buy a couple more days you know kind of like how i did remember that episode or that um that video of me saying I just paid the $44. I'm like, man, this is less than the $44, but God, do your thing. Do your miracle, please, because I'm not trying to be in here in the dark. I need to go get groceries and stuff, some more groceries. I don't I don't have time for for any other inconveniences, right? So, um, 
something just I paid the seventeen dollars and something just told me to like I just had this urge to check my cash app, check my payment apps, right? I go check my cash app, I didn't see anything. I checked my Venmo, I didn't see anything. I um I check my Zill and honey. Somebody has sent me $5 a couple of days ago, but I don't get the notification. My email is um it's full. So um oh I can't even gather my head. I just I just woke up and and God just blew my mind within like 30 minutes. But um okay, so yeah, so they sent me five dollars, right? And then just, I guess, this morning or last night or something, this person sent me $200. Mind you, my electric is two, um, 250 and I paid the $17. So I paid, uh, what is it, 204 It was like, it was like a balance of 204 in my account and some change. So I paid the 204 from the Zelle. Somebody sent me a Zelle. And um, I paid the, the 17 that I had. So that puts me at around $221 that I paid. And I know they ain't going to trip off that little balance of $30-something or, you know, $29. So I could pay that um, later on today when I get off of work or tomorrow, whatever the case might be. Because, um, yeah... It's hard because, like, I wrote down a whole list of things that that I need to catch up on. But not only that, also a list of videos I want to do to produce, you know, to increase my earnings a bit. And it's a lot per day. It's like so many videos I, to do per day for the rest of the month. And it's like, how am I supposed to do that and work and make money? Like, how am I going to squeeze all this in, plus the editing, plus like, oh my goodness, it's, it's overwhelming even just thinking about it. But it's a challenge that I'm willing to at least try, you know? So I just wanted to share that Lord moment with y'all because God really be coming through. And I noticed all of it, well, I ain't gonna say all of a sudden because I, I know they've been there. My, my intuition is very strong. So I, I, even if you think I don't know that you watch me, I know that you watch me. But there's been a lot of witches in my comments and stuff lately. And I know that they hate me because um, they probably know a little bit more about me than I know about myself. Um, sometimes they're able to see who you are, how God may be using you, things like that. So they always in my comments cussing me out, being rude about something, but I could care less. But I do want to tell you which behind this. God is real. God um, comes through for me. God provides for me. God loves and cares for me. He protects me every single day and every single night. So you will want to be very careful how you come over here and what you do and what you say, because God don't play about his. If you want to choose the other side, the, dark, the kingdom of darkness, that's on you. But when you come on this channel, I guarantee you, you're going to be second guessing your choices. I guarantee you, when you see these blessings that God is rolling out for me, you're going to want to know a little bit more about him. I don't care how much church hurt you got, who's, who did what to you, what you think God didn't protect you from, whatever's going on in your life. You keep on watching this channel and you might want to convert over to a Christian. So if you if you if you hate God that much, then leave. But I know why you over here because you wonder, you wonder, and you probably in between spaces. You thinking you love the dark kingdom, but when you see what God is over here doing, now you like I said, you second guessing. You second guessing, but I will tell you to be real careful how you move with me though. Real careful. But anyway, um, my plan, my hope for you is that you would convert, that you would get yourself in order and and choose God and, and Jesus Christ. You feel me? So just I just want to put it out there. I, I see y'all. And to everybody else, I just want to tell y'all um, that God is a miracle worker, honey. I've had no idea. OK, the things that happened for me, the things that's been happening for me. I don't be knowing. I don't be planning it. I don't be. 
I don't be knowing none of that stuff. I just know that I get in this house and I pray and I read that Bible and I fast every single week, even when I don't want to, even when my flesh is crying and I'm out here just like, oh my God, it's hot. I'm tired. I want some ice cream. <laughs> I don't want to be drinking water all day. I typically would fast from six to six. Sometimes I feel it in my spirit to fast till 11 o'clock at night and I'll be hungry and I'll be frustrated. And I, that's all I do because I need to get control over myself. I know that I have suffered from having a violent, very violent past, a very um, angry demeanor. Um, I am I'm very dangerous. I'm very dangerous. I often think about things that I don't think the normal mind thinks about. <laughs> you know, when it comes to other people, when they cross me, I get very, very angry and it's a very dangerous and almost psychotic anger. So I learned um, that fasting gives you power over your flesh. And I pray about these things and I pray about my thoughts and I pray about um, the things that I want to do to people when they push my buttons um, because it could get very dangerous over here. So I, I use the fasting to control that. However, I also use it to ask for certain things, for certain things to come out of my life, like poverty, um, things that, you know, some of the stuff I was just kind of like born into, you know, I came out and saw this type of conduct. So I just, I don't know. It's, it's like second nature for me. So I have to work hard to not do those things, if that makes sense. So that's that's all I do. You know what I mean? And I pray for what I want. I don't know how this stuff. I know it's God, but I don't ever know what how it's going to go. I just know that it always works out because I just give it to God and I don't think about it no more. I just do what I know that I should do to try to make it happen. As long as I do the work. And sometimes I don't even make enough or or really, you know what I mean? I, I don't make enough to get what I want sometimes. But then somebody else would just do it. Like, it's just how God has been working in my life. So I just want to say I, I urge you to trust God. I urge you to pray. I urge you to, to try. to develop. I know it's not the easiest thing, but to try to develop that, that um, discipline of uh, fasting and prayer because it, it's if it could help me it, it could help anybody okay so <laughs> i urge you to try to develop that discipline and um i urge you to pray and study and just let that be your first resort when something comes up in your life that you need help with go straight to god first not to people just go to praying and just kind of listen and feel out what you what you you know what I mean what you should do and what he wants you to do and do that because he's been moving in my life and I know that if somebody else is on here watching and they have needs that need to be fulfilled as well he can move in your life as well so use me as an example for what you could get and you can get even more you know you can get even more um build a relationship with God desire to have a real relationship with him, desire to get to know him, desire to um, become a better you. And I promise when God sees you working on yourself, because honey, I've been working on myself, okay? I've been trying to keep myself <laughs> in order. I promise I have. So um, yeah, when he sees you working on yourself and is a real man, I promise you, he will make the load a little bit easier for you. So I just wanted to end the vlog by sharing that with y'all. And I know it was a lot. I kind of said a whole lot of stuff, but all of it's real. And I urge you to just try. All right. So till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you check out the description links. Um, there's always something down there for your benefit, including my wonderful boutique. Also, um, if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, and leave a comment and hit the like button on the way out. Also, hit the join button as well. The join button is where you get to see all of my exclusive footage that's not on my normal page. It is only accessible to the members of this channel. 
So if you want to see that, um, there'll be six new videos coming out for the month of August. Go ahead and check that out. And I will see y'all in the next video. Oh, and I definitely want to say thank you to um, the person who sent me the Zelle. Her uh, initials are LR. Thank you, LR, so much for sending that. That came just um, in time. I really do appreciate your help and your care and concern for myself and my children. I also um, want to say I hope that it returns to you um, 100 fold and that you are blessed abundantly for um, being a blessing in my life. So again, um, thank you so much and I'll see y'all in the next video.